Shalom, giving our praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rucha Kudash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutations unto Yaakim, upholding the testimony of Yahweh Shai in truth and in sincerity. I just wanted to reflect upon Revelations, the 13th chapter. There's been a lot of videos and lessons of edification going out about it, uh, about the topic of the Haragma, uh, the MLTB, and um, the book of Proverbs says, give not thy strength over unto woman, uh, nor, essentially I'm paraphrasing, because it, that's the way of the destruction of kings and you can apply that to physical woman and you can also apply that to spiritual woman and from the perspective of the karagma the spiritual woman will be the whore that sitteth upon many waters and it, it, and the angel told John Yachanan not to marvel not to marvel because by taking that karagma you're giving your strength over to the whore that sitteth upon the beast with seven heads and ten horns. You're doing that. You're you're giving your strength over to the to the philosophy and the ways of this world. If you take it, you're deviating from the trench from the trenches in which the Most High laid for us. Now there's a Hebrew proverb, I believe it's in the book of Psalms, and I, I try to paraphrase it in the Hebrew, it says, the mak aisharya by na aigal wath yaka bal namawatya paanya which in the Hebrew, wow, beautiful flowers. But in the Hebrew, that the mock is support, <clears throat> and the, rich, the scriptures are written a fourth time for our learning. The mock is support, and this is a prayer as well to, to reflect upon. It's beautiful to me. It, I think is, I think is, it gives me strength. It's edifying. But the mock means support or hold up. Aisharya meaning my walk. Hold me in the straight and narrow and don't allow me to deviate into the fire or the water. That's what David was talking about. And, and furthermore, it says, by my gal yath, pardon me, by my gal wath yaka. Which that that means in the trenches, or in the tracks, or in or in thy trenches, in thy tracks. I'm bringing it full circle because I mentioned trenches, and I wanted to you. I wanted you to not take it from a carnal perspective only. Quops is talking about black mood. He's talking about the trenches of. No, I'm talking about the spiritual trenches. I'm talking about the trenches in which the Heavenly Father has laid for us. Their protection, there was a trench. You, when the artillery comes and you're in the trenches, you have protection. When the ammunition is flying and you, when you're in the trenches, you have protection. When you deviate from that trench, if you get out the trench, you're susceptible, you're susceptible to, to take a mortal wound. So remain in the trenches of the Heavenly Father. See, we have spiritual trenches. We don't need to, we don't need, you know, we don't need huge fucking bulldozers and concrete reinforcement layers and, you know, the two, three story, you know, battle, battle trenches. We don't need that. We have the trenches of our God. And he's a strong tower. But... 
it, it says in the trenches in, in thy trenches and then furthermore it says um <clears throat> it says bow which means not or, or don't and then it says it's, this turns into a Hebrew edification then it says namawat ya namawat ya which it means slip my it means my slip all right essentially meaning slip mawat like you know you slip in clay that's how i remember that's how i remember it that word you know it, it, oh, oh wow that's that's spiritual you don't want to slip in the clay of of the because part was Maori clay and partly partly was it was iron. I'm talking about that same beast system that the horse sits upon. Daniel spoke of it. It was partly strong and partly weak, but at the same time, you don't want to slip in that clay. You don't want to slip in the whore. You, you don't want to be deceived by this system and take the karagma and take that device. And then it says, Pa'anya, which Pa'anya means my feet. Don't allow my, slip, don't allow my feet to slip, O oh God. Since it was David was saying, but he was prophesying. Don't allow, us to, don't allow our feet to slip in this system. And we have to, you know, be protectors of the widow and give to the fatherless. And, and the Lord will protect us and he will give unto us. We do our part and he does his. Don't forsake nor forget the first works. Hold fast to the testimony till he comes. And this is a quick Hebrew edification, well, a quick in transit a Hebrew edification as well. It was just through the spirit because I had to put something on the on the rap sheet. And I pray it was edifying. Giving all praise to Yahweh Shai. Shalom and keep the faith.